Byron Plett and Isaiah Spriggs are goaltenders for the Winnipeg Blues. Both have played a similar amount of games this Manitoba Junior Hockey League season, and they have similar stats. But assistant coach Billy Keane says there is no goaltender controversy at the Iceplex. No, not at all. Really? Not at all. Not at all. It's you know, it's 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 you know, both guys are are practicing well and and they're they're good kids and uh, we want to see them do well and, and you know, I mean, it's, it's performance-based decisions are pretty easy to make. But who plays between the posts for the Blues isn't always based on who kicks out the most pucks. Sometimes it's based on health. I think both guys, uh, you know, Isaiah and and, uh, and Barn, have done a great job this year in terms of their own preparation. Both of them have had, you know, kind of cycles of, of real good performance based on their health. You know, they both kind of fought through some injuries uh, throughout the year, you know, came back, you know, got in some good rhythms, got injured again, you know, so they, they both, and, and good for us in the, in the sense of they have been different times. Health is a factor some nights, but on others, Plett feels the subtle differences in each netminder's playing style works better against different teams. I think it is a little bit different. Um, we do both have very similar styles. I know we both read off each other, but uh, one, maybe one thing is that uh, I like the stand-up goaltender. He loves the butterfly. Both works. Plett and Spriggs are among the top 10 goaltenders in the league in many categories, including goals against average. Both have allowed less than three goals per game. Combine that with an offense near the top of the MJHL in goals scored, and the Blues look to be in a prime position to snatch up a division championship. You know, the team's really helping us out. You know, I mean, can't really give us all the credit. I mean, you know, we got five bodies in front of us on the ice all the time, and they've been really helping us out. And, you know, I guess we've been doing our job this year, and uh, it's been, we've been successful, I guess, as an organization because of it. Successful might be an understatement. In a three-week stretch in January, the Blues had 10 wins and only one overtime loss. With a record like that, Keane says it's easy to be confident no matter who starts in goal. It's a coin toss right now because both guys are healthy, both guys are, are playing pretty well, and, and, uh, and that's what every team would like, frankly, heading into a playoff run. For Shaw TV, I'm Mitchell Clinton.